We've got some big breaking news. Shohei Otani has been completely cleared by federal investigators, and his former interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara, is said to be negotiating a guilty plea. That's coming up next here on Dodgers Dugout. It's time for Dodger Baseball. That's right, Dodgers have won it all in 2020. Mookie Betts. I don't care how many times this team rips my heart out, I'll never stop loving the Los Angeles Dodgers. Think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here, credential member of Dodgers Media. You can follow me on X and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, do us a huge favor and subscribe to the number one Dodgers YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Also, comment done down below so you're eligible for our next giveaway at 90,000 subscribers. And as always, I want your fire takes down below. And I want your reaction to the news that Shohei Otani has been completely cleared by federal investigators that Ipe Mizuhara is entering a guilty plea. I want all your Otani takes down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So after weeks of speculation and waiting and wondering what would come of the Shohei Otani, Ibe Mizuhara betting scandal, well, today the wait is over. We got our answer, and we know now that Shohei Otani has been completely cleared of any wrongdoing and that Ibe Mizuhara, Otani's former interpreter, is negotiating a guilty plea as we speak. And the first thing I want to read comes from TMZ Sports, who writes, Our sources say the feds, who launched an investigation last month, have concluded Mizuhara was lying, that Otani was completely in the dark over the gambling debt, and Mizuhara embezzled from one of Otani's accounts without the pitcher's knowledge. It would go on to say, our sources say the feds have concluded Otani was not involved in any wrongdoing and has never had any association with gambling or bookmaking. So, that is the most important detail. The fact that everything that Otani said at Dodger Stadium, when he read his statement that he had no knowledge that he was completely a victim of massive theft, that turned out to be 100% true based on the investigation. So Otani's hands are clean. He is going to be 100% fine. I don't think his image is going to take a hit at all. He can now go back to focusing on being the best baseball player on the planet, on winning multiple World Series with the Los Angeles Dodgers, on further establishing himself along with the line Messi's of the world as the biggest superstar athlete on the planet. The biggest superstar that baseball has ever seen. And I think that's really my first big takeaway is that there isn't going to be some fallout from this where Otani's brand takes a nick or is blemished in any capacity. He was completely a victim. They ruled that he was in the dark and I see haters out there silly, just not astute baseball fans saying, oh Otani's in the bed with the feds. Otani's paying off the feds. They have his back because of how much money he makes. You sound ridiculous. Okay, take off the tinfoil hat and just let's be real for a second. Now, so today's update is great news for Dodgers fans. It's great news for Major League Baseball. It's bad news, though, for baseball fans that were very strangely rooting on Otani's downfall. Haters of fans like the Astros and teams out there that didn't want to see Otani on the Dodgers and the Dodgers are buying their World Series. Well, guess what? Otani is going nowhere. And I think that early on in his career for him to have something like this, I almost think long term this could be good for Shohei Otani because now they are going to be as buttoned up as ever in the Otani camp. They are not going to let people mess around with his accounts, with his money. They're not going to let him get taken advantage of. Nez Bolello and his agent and his team at CAA they're going to do everything to protect Shohei Otani because his sole focus is baseball. That's all he cares about. That's all he wants to do and they understand understand how lucrative he is. Remember, the reason why he deferred all that money is because he takes home 50 to 70 million dollars with endorsements. And something like this could get in the way of that and they're not going to let this happen again. So the fact this happens in his first couple of months with the Los Angeles Dodgers, well guess what? We still have nine plus years of having a squeaky clean Shohei Otani hopefully for this team where they can just focus solely on their goals and that is winning 
tons and tons of World Series championships. He wants to win multiple rings. Shohei Otani told me that himself. He said success or failure for this team is winning the World Series, and he knows it. The organization knows it. The fans of baseball know it, and that's all that really matters. Now, this is from the New York Times. It reads, those briefed on the matter claim that prosecutors have uncovered evidence that Mizuhara may have stolen more money from Otani than the $4.5 million he was initially accused of pilfering. The people said, in particular, the authorities think they have evidence that Mizuhara was able to change the settings on Otani's bank account so Otani would not receive alerts and confirmations about transactions, the three people said. So, where are all those ex-lawyers? Where are all those Instagram and social media lawyers that are saying, oh, how could he have done that? They would have to get some confirmation from Shohei Otani. We'd have to approve of that for him to get the money. Really? Well, that's not what this says here. It says that uh, Ipe Mizuhara had the ability to find a way to get the access to where Otani wasn't involved. Okay, so it really does make a lot of sense. I said it a few weeks ago. I'll say it today. Someone that is this laser hyper-focused on his profession like Shohei Otani is, it makes a ton of sense that, okay, I'm out here doing what I'm doing. I'm not focused and concentrating on money. And Ipe, he's with me 100% of the time. His access to everything I have, look, this is not outside the realm of possibility. This, to me, sounds like it's adding up and that Ipe was really just a sick and twisted evil dude. I mean, how, if you're Ipe Mizuhara, you say that, you and Otani, they he described his relationship with Otani as their brothers, right? Their brothers. Ipe said that he spent more time with Otani than he did his family and his wife. So let me get this straight. You stole from your brother, and on top of that, you attempted to destroy his credibility and make him out to be a liar and cause this confusion and hurt his reputation as far as the people running wild with all these insane theories that Shohei Otani was lying or that they had Ipe just falling on the sword and taking a bullet for him. No, that's not what happened in this situation. Otani's people are intelligent. They're smart businessmen. They know they're not going to have someone lie to the feds, okay? It was ridiculous. If you believe that, you are ridiculous. I don't know what to tell you, but the most important thing in all this, Otani is cleared. The Dodgers are going to be able to put this behind them and focus on the most anticipated season in Dodgers franchise history. Now, a couple of other notes are that According to one of the people briefed on the investigation, the federal authorities interviewed Otani in recent weeks to learn more about his relationship with Mizuhara. So I'm assuming this took place maybe around Dodger Stadium or maybe his house in Newport Beach or on the road, but it doesn't really matter. He met with federal authorities, told them everything he knew. Those people walked away from those conversations believing Shohei Otani. I'm sure they did their background work, too, to make sure that everything added up. It would also say the investigation has been jointly led by the Los Angeles offices of the Internal Revenue Services Criminal Division and the Department of Homeland Security, along with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Central District of California. So this was thorough. You had multiple agencies, right? I mean, you had the top of the top, the IRS, the feds. They were involved in this situation. This is not like some local police department is working on this thing. No, this is as high as it gets. And they found that Otani was a victim of massive theft. So guess what? A couple years we'll talk about this. We'll never forget this. But most important thing is this ends now. So if it was a cloud over the team, which I don't think it was, it's going to be put in the past and they can lose this as a distraction. It won't be a distraction at any point. Now they can focus on baseball. But I think too, one of the positives out of this is I do think in some ways this brought this team together. I think this this galvanized this group because when Otani went out there and made a stand, Every single one of his teammates believed him. Every one of his teammates supported him. And I think that for a team that has these expectations to kind of bond over something and bring themselves together over something that's not baseball related, I think that makes this a tighter knit group. And I think that accelerates the chemistry building on this team. So if you do want to spin a positive, I do think it's that. Give the Dodgers credit in how they handled this situation, not just from the top as far as the front office and the entire team, but the players themselves 
with all these expectations, to have a distraction of this magnitude that's involving betting. I mean, I remember the day after, oh, he's Pete Rose. He's betting on baseball. Nothing like that happened. The Otani haters, the Dodgers haters, you guys can go punch air right now because guess what? The man was deemed innocent. That is what is important here. And I believe the man was innocent. I fully believe Shohei Otani. And I think that there's nothing that I saw here that would change that. So we're going to do a deeper dive on this tomorrow. I'm actually going to try to have the people behind this on an episode of the show. Still trying to work that out. But let me know down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on this update on the news that Shohei Otani has been completely cleared by federal investigators that Ipe Mizuhara is entering a guilty plea? Let me know down below. And my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on X and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, do us a huge favor and subscribe to the number one show, the number one Dodgers YouTube channel, the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. We're going to start doing subscription-only content that you're going to want to make sure that you have access to a lot of on-field stuff at the game and also that you're eligible for the giveaways. Got a big jersey giveaway coming up once we hit 90K subs because you know what? This is your channel. I'm just hosting it. And we got to give back. And that's what this year is all about. You, the fan, and this team, which is the most exciting Dodger team in recent history. And they haven't even hit their stride, in my opinion. But that is going to do it for this episode. Remember, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. I want all your takes. What is your reaction? And also, nothing brings us together quite like Dodger baseball. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. 